we've been doing a lot of work with area and I thought we could really determine the formula we can use to find the area of any shape. And we'll start with rectangle because you've been doing a lot with rectangles and finding the area of a number of rectangles. So now we'll see if we can create a formula that we can just use for any rectangle. So let's take a look at this rectangle that we've worked with before. How could we find, how could we calculate the area of this? We could certainly count it, but what is another shortcut we've done? We've looked at its base, the value of its base, and we've multiplied that by the height. So let's label those parts of this rectangle. The base is here, and the height is here. So if we wanted to create a formula we could use for any rectangle, we could do, we could do this, the area equals base times height. Now, when we're writing formulas, there are a couple things to keep in mind. Sometimes we use the letter X in uh, algebra and other things to stand as a, as a variable. So we actually, when we are doing formulas, we do not need to have the letter X there. If there's no operation symbol, then it means multiplication. So with this, area equals base times height. And we're gonna be doing a lot of different kinds of area. So if we wanted to indicate that this is area of a rectangle, we could write down below here rectangle to indicate that that's the formula for area of a rectangle. So if we wanted to find the area of this rectangle, we could substitute the actual values for the uh, letters in the formula. So if we want to find the area of this rectangle, it's going to equal its base, which has a value of 10 units, times the height, which is five units. So what's the total value of, what's the area of this rectangle? It equals 10 units times five units, which equals 50 units squared. really important when we're recording the value of area that we include the unit of measure. So in this case, it's just units, but if we were measuring this whole classroom, it could be feet. We could be looking at square feet. So we want to be sure we always indicate that unit of measure. So this formula should work for every rectangle. Maybe you should go try that out and see if the formula of base times height works to find the area of any rectangle you try to measure.